Hi everyone, it's Carrie. As promised, here are the pics for our 2014 Father's Day. Sorry it took so long to upload, but for some reason, everything that could have went wrong did. But as my husband always says, don't talk about the pain, just show me the baby. So, we had to switch things up quite a bit because I didn't realize we were going to have a childless Father's Day dinner. This past week, I took my youngest daughter up to spend some time with her aunt, cousins, and her grandma. My oldest daughter had to work Father's Day, and then my sister told me that my niece had to work Father's Day. So in the end, we decided to do something individually and separate amongst the families. My daughter suggested that she would do a father-daughter date and make breakfast for my husband prior to her going to work. We tried to keep within the My Dad Rocks theme and do a daddy-daughter style. My daughter did all of the cooking, and I set up a table for two in the basement. She cooked a bacon and spinach quiche, handmade sausage patties, a fruit parfait, biscuits, OJ, and water. I let them use my service bell so that they could ring me if they needed anything. I made some place cards by simply adhering some rocks to a standard picture frame. And I was finally able to use my turtle salt cellar. This was the perfect occasion for it. As for the Rockstar game, what I did was the following. I found some songs with the word rock in the title and then what they had to do was match up the artist to the song. My daughter lost. My husband just celebrated his birthday a couple of weeks ago and he got an all expense paid guys trip to Costa Rica that he will be taking later this summer. So while cruising around in Marshalls one day, I came across this wonderful bag and it inspired me to put together a male inspired beach bag. We filled it with a masculine beach towel. We didn't want to send him off with a little mermaid one. We got him some flip flops, some casual sneakers, a cordless battery in order to charge his iPad while he was out there, uh, some cologne, and finally a flask. We didn't get to engrave the flask, but when we do, it will say, without me, the party is just awesome. So, after we gave my husband all of his gifts, he said that he loved every single one except for the beach tote. He said the beach tote violated man code. So my daughter and I asked him to explain. He said that under no circumstance is a man to ever carry a beach tote in the presence of only other men. The only acceptable carrying device when in the presence of only men is apparently a book bag. The only acceptable time to carry a beach tote is if he is A, within the presence of his family, or B, within the presence of his wife or significant other. I've never heard of this man code rule before. Could you all please ask any man you know, whether it be your brother, husband, spouses, or uncle, if they've ever heard of this man code rule? Because I think it's silly. Until next time, this is Carrie saying keep calm and carry on.